mutations are also caused by compounds that substitute for normal bases and these are called base analogs or the compounds that slip between the bases and these are called intercalating agents and both of these they cause errors in replication so uh, first uh, let us see base analogs base analogs are uh, structurally similar to the proper bases but differ in ways in some ways they are different from the normal bases and these uh, that's why uh, they these differences make them treacherous to the cells thus base analogs are similar enough to the proper bases to get taken up by the cells and then converted into nucleoside triphosphates by the cells and finally uh, incorporated into the dna during replication this all happen due to uh, some error in identifying these uh, base analogs by the cell but because of the structural differences from the proper bases the analogs base pair inaccurately leading to frequent mistakes during the replication process because these are not proper bases so they have some differences so when they base pair with the uh, opposite strand here they uh, uh, do not base pair normally and this leads to uh, uh, mutations one of the most mutagenic base analog is 5 bromouracil which is an analog of thiamine the presence of the bromo uh, substituent allows the base to miss pair with guanine otherwise this thiamine base pair with adenine but due to the presence of this uh, uh, base analog it uh, forms the base pair with guanine here you can see uh, this is 5-bromouracil uh, and uh, it is base analog of thiamine so in the normal sequence here uh, thiamine uh, would be present and uh, in front of thiamine there uh, would come adenine in case of normal base but this is uh, a base analog and uh, it has replaced a with g with guanine so this bro 5 bromouracil base pairs with guanine instead of adenine second uh, uh, such compounds is, are intercalating agents intercalating agents are flat molecules containing several polycyclic rings and uh, they can uh, uh, bind to the purine or pyrimidine bases of dna just as the bases bind or stack with each other in the uh, double uh, stranded dna molecule so uh, uh, they also uh, mistakenly they are a base pair with the in the dna molecule so here are uh, some uh, examples of intercalating agents this is uh, uh, proflavin and uh, then uh, acridin di which can intercalate into the dna molecule and uh, the third one is ethidium all these are the examples of intercalating agents intercalating agents such as proflavin acridin and ethidium cause the deletion or addition of a base pair or even a few base pairs in the dna molecule these intercalating agents also cause short insertions or deletions in the dna molecule but how do these agents cause short insertions or deletions they can cause uh, uh, one base pair insertion uh, one base insertion or one base deletion but how they cause short insertions and deletions in the dna molecule one possibility in the case of insertion is that by slipping between the bases in the template strand the, these intercalating agent they slip between the bases and uh, these mutagens 
cause the DNA polymerase to insert an extra nucleotide sequence opposite the intercalated molecule. So uh, uh, here two strands are present. These intercalating agents get entry into one strand. They slip between the bases in uh, one strand. So uh, when the polymerase uh, machinery will replicate this strand and when it uh, passes this intercalated agent it may add some extra bases or extra nucleotides on the opposite strand so in this way it leads to insertion conversely in the case of deletions the distortion of the template caused by the presence of an intercalated molecule might cause the polymerase to skip a single or few nucleotides. Similarly, if there is some intercalation of these agents, the polymerase chain machinery may skip that portion in the template, sorry, in the new strand. So in this way, that portion will be deleted in the new strand. So in this way, the base analogs and intercalated agents damage DNA.